The problem with having a low back that's not set in complete rigid extension for the deadlift is that you have a power leak. So it's not so much that you're gonna hurt yourself by having a, a, your low back go into flexion, although it's not the, uh, the optimal situation, but the main issue is that you're not making the muscles strong enough to hold that position, and our goal is to get strong, to get all of the muscles involved in the movement strong. What you'll find a lot of the times is that the deadlift will just hit a hard wall, uh, especially for people who aren't setting their back correctly. So in solving this problem, the first step is to watch Rip's video on lower back control. Uh, second step is to try the belly between your thighs cue, which you've seen in a, different, in a separate video that I've done before. Uh, this, what I'm gonna show you today, is for the hard cases. So you are the person who has tried everything and you absolutely cannot set your low back uh, we're gonna go through some uh, more extreme measures here to get, get it correct. So you, it, it, in those instances, you need to treat it almost like the person who can't squat to full depth. Uh, so the, the main thing is to get the per position correct, then we'll go range of motion, then we'll start loading it. So the first thing you're gonna do is set up the bar in the rack at above rack pull height. Normally, for a rack pull, you would start it right below the knee or maybe a little bit lower. Uh, this is gonna be just a little bit higher than that. The point is to find a, a spot where the lifter can set their low back or where you can set your low back without a whole bunch of hamstring tension. So uh, Kathy's gonna walk up to the bar and set her feet an inch from the bar, even a little bit closer than that. And then she's gonna bend over, take her grip. All of the deadlift setup steps should be about the same except that you're pulling from, from really, really high. So shins come to the bar or knees come to the bar. And then now from here, I want her to pull some slack out of the bar. So load the arms up, load the back up, and then shove your belly between your thighs, squeeze, lift your chest tight. And I want her to hold this until she feels her back being tight and kind of a little bit of a burn there. All right, relax and do it again. Relax. And if the bar moves, I do not want the bar moves. So if it moves, reset it, put it back in the right spot, and then do it again. Squeeze it tight, hold it, bigger chest, bigger chest, squeeze, 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 and relax. Okay, we're gonna do that a few times, and then I'll just have her stand up with the bar. So go ahead and get set. Squeeze your back tight, 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 tight. Now push the floor, and keep the back tight as you do it. Good, and put it down. Once you get a feel for that, you're gonna lower the bar to about the middle of the shins or maybe a little bit higher than that. Okay, so now the bar's a little bit lower. We're just slightly above the middle of the shin. Go ahead and walk up, do all this, the same deadlift setup steps. And this can happen either within a session or uh, session to session. It just kind of depends on how bad the situation is. Uh, get the bar a little bit closer to your shins. Okay, bend over. Tension in the hands, pull the slack out. Don't move the bar, good, shins forward. Belly between the thighs, knees out. Hold it, hold it, hold it, good, relax. Okay, do it a couple more times. Hold it, hold it, relax. One more, hold it, hold it. Keep holding it as you push the floor away and lock it out, go. Good, and down. Very nice. So the idea is to build up some burn in the low back so the lifter can feel what it feels like. And then also you're slowly adding hamstring tension by lowering the bar lower and lower so the person is learning uh, or you're learning how to set your back against tight hamstrings. All right, and then sometimes you might have to lower it one more step before pulling, pulling off the ground. That's fine. If you need to start increasing weight from a little bit higher, go ahead and do it. Uh, it just, again, depends on how bad the situation is. And after working on this within the same session or uh, workout to workout, we'll start pulling off the floor. So same deal, walk up to the bar. And by now the lifter should have a good feel for setting the low back against tight hamstrings. Go ahead and yep, take your grip, tension in the arms, shins forward and set your back tight, tight, tighter, 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 belly between the thighs, and push. Very nice. So your job as a lifter and a coach is to learn the movement correctly. You don't wanna automatically go to this type of stuff uh, without having gone through the proper execution of the deadlift, the 
five-step setup. If you're having trouble setting your low back, maintaining a tight low back, give this stuff a try. Don't use it as a crutch. Use it as a teaching tool. Use it as a way to, gain, as a way to gain awareness of what your low back, low back is doing, and then get back to actually getting strong. Give it a shot.